We got. We got Doji Cat paint the town red. When was the last time you listened to a Doja Cat song? Um, the Elvis movie. You? Yeah, that might be the same for me. I just forgot the name of that song. All right, let's see what she got. This is Doja Cat paint the town red. for a second what's up with the raw meat in here right i instantly thought of it as being a sacrifice there's so much to unpack do you want to dive into it yet or if you want because first of all paint the town red Like, I had to look that up to see, like, what that meant. Because I've heard that so many times. And it's... It's to be, like, wild. It's to be wildly extravagant. And I think the title of the song is so fitting because... You remember how you say when someone just doesn't care they let their balls hang that's right and there's so many instances where you see her balls hanging like her ball hanging at first i thought it was going to be her eyeball but it's actually her balls like figuratively speaking 
Um, she's clearly not settling, meaning like she's not going to settle down and, and meet any status quo. She's so unique in, in her style, her, her attitude, the way she does her music. It's very different. There's so many different liners, like the fact that she said, I look better with no hair. To me, that signifies um, like her level of beauty. You know, like she's saying like she doesn't even need her hair to to show that she's beautiful, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I instantly thought about Like I thought about like what hair represents, right? And for, especially for females, it's typically associated with beauty. You know, you think of like the long, dark hair. You you tend to see, especially when it's depicted in Disney movies, like the the princesses or the queens, they typically have like this long hair. And so for her to say that she doesn't need her hair, I think it's her way of saying like, she doesn't even need her physical appearance because Mm -hmm. she's so much more than that like she's confident even without the physical aspect of her oh yeah it's it's definitely a a confident a confidence factor for her to not need that um because i personally would not look good with no hair at all and some people could 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 pull it off and it's it is what it is. You might be able to pull off the bald. No, my head's too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make you like it. I'm a two-time bitch. You ain't knew I'd win. Throw a shot like you're trying to have a foot fight then. All my ops waiting for me to be you, I bet. Say I got drive, I don't need a car. Money really all that we fiending for. I'm doing things they ain't seen before. Fans ain't dumb, but extreme is all. I'm a demon lord, fall off what I ain't seen the horse. Call your bluff, better sight the source. Fame ain't something that I need no more. Cause bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Oh my gosh, her eyes are so powerful. Like the fact that you could only see her eye expression. Like you didn't even need to see her her the rest of her face. Yeah, and she used the Carrie reference. Remember Carrie? Yeah. I never saw it. You never saw it? No, but I I'm familiar with the storyline. Which is? Um It's like in a school setting, it's during like prom night and death. Yeah. I I don't (laughs) Or like murder. Yeah, I don't remember it too well, but she was mistreated in school. Mm. Carrie was. Carrie was. She was bullied. She was she was ostracized. So she was alienated. She was isolated from 
from most of her peers. And I don't think she did anything. I, I, f- I forget how she acquired the power or if she just had the power from the beginning. But she ends up getting revenge. What I do remember is she ends up getting revenge. And then towards the end, like there's all this all this blood everywhere, all over Carrie. And so you see when Doja Cat's in the video, the, um, what's the name of that weapon that the Grim Reaper uses? Is that called like a scythe? The, 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 the stick and the, and the blade. I forget the name of the word for that. But anyway, so the Grim Reaper has this. I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that. I think it's called the scythe. But anyway, so the reflection of the scythe is is a carry reference mm. which which kind of i think it it illustrates her anger towards her peers because that's that's what carry illustrated that's what carry the 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 whole theme of the movie was revenge mm. you know and so I, I think that's a that plays a part and it, it makes sense why she has all the satanic symbols you know it's a, it's a symbol of like evil, revenge, bad. Her dark side. Her dark side, right. Yeah. But then her relationship with that dark side. You know, yeah. like like she's she's being uh serenaded caressed. by or yeah. caressed by the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Very different feel from what I've seen her do. Yeah. And and when it's black and white, it also reminded me of Sin City. Sin City. And then, what do you think of the song overall? Before I wrap up, like I feel like it's a song to get you hyped up. It wouldn't get me hyped, but I really enjoyed the chorus. Like I love. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know who that... Who, who, it almost who sounds familiar, is. right? Yeah. That, that Walk On By by Dion Warwick. Walk On By. <laughs> and then... It's that... It's like that beady... Beady energy song. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's not a song I would I would listen to regularly. But I think there's a mood for it. Mm-hmm. I agree. 